get Unity reward videos to work, we'll need to create a C Sharp script. And the script is just going to be a listener for events that Unity as will be sending. So let's go and create a new C Sharp script. We'll name it my Unity as listener and we can open this script with Visual Studio. So here's our new script. We'll need to add a couple more libraries to get it working with Bolt. We're adding the Unity's engines advertisement library and the other two packages for Bolt. This class that we're creating needs to implement Unity as a listener interface. And when we add that, we get an error saying that we need to implement at some interfaces and we can click on that icon right here, click implement interfaces and all of those functions that we need to have for the interface will be added. We can remove the updated function because we're not going to use that. And in the start method, we need to add a listener to our advertisement. So advertisement dot add listener and we add this listener as the listener. So to this point, the integration for using Unity as for Unity or for Bolt was exactly the same, but now we're going to add Bolt specific logic. And to have the least amount of code that we write with C Sharp, all I'll do is create custom event triggers that are provided by Bolt to trigger custom events in our Bolt graphs. And this is how you add a custom event. Custom event trigger game object, which is going to be the game object wherever this script is going to be added. And then we pass the event name, which I'm just using the method name and any parameters followed after that. So we're just passing the message for this one. We can do the same process for the other ones as well. So custom event trigger and event name is the same as the method name and pass the parameters that we have. So placement ID and show result. I'll do the same for the other two. The other two just have a placement ID that they're passing through. And that's it. That's all we're going to do in the script. Listen for the events and trigger custom events in Bolt. We can close this and go back to Unity. If you missed any of that code, I'll provide a link to this file on GitHub so you can copy and use it. Like I said, the script needs to be attached to a game object that we're going to control ads with in the flow graph. And I'll do that with the ads game object that we have here. Drop it in here can go to added graph and inside the graph, we can just use any of the events that we're looking for. The main event that I'm interested in for the rewarded videos is on Unity ads did finish. So whenever the did finish event gets fired, that's the one that I'm interested in. So we can get custom event. The event name is on Unity ads did finish. There were two parameters, the placement ID and the show result. And the reason why I'm actually interested in this specific event is because it's at this point that you need to reward your player. But you also need to check if the player actually watched the ad or not. And that's what the show result was for. So in here, we can actually pull up the show result or literal. And the values that we have here is failed, skipped or finished. And the one that we're actually looking for is the finished meaning that the player successfully watched the video. And if he did, then we want to reward the player. Now from here, I can do the equal and compare it with the argument one. Also, I need to check the placement ID and make sure that the placement ID is actually the rewarded video because this event is going to be also fired for interstitial ads. So the video placement ID that we used in the previous video, that means we need to check equals here as well. And here we'll be comparing it with a string literal, which is going to be the rewarded video placement ID. Then I can end both of these checks that we made and use a branch based on the result. Connect the flow from our event. If both of those checks are true, then we want to reward the player. I'm not going to go through setting up the reward process. The reward can be different, whatever the reward is. I'm just going to log the message and let's write a string. Here is a reward for you. That's it. At this point, you can go and place the rewarded video ad wherever you want. The process is exactly the same as we did for the video. 
except the rewarded video is usually triggered by a button, meaning that the player wants to actually get a reward for watching the video. But for testing, I'm just gonna replace the video ad that we have at the game over screen. I'll replace it with the rewarded video instead. And now let's click play and see if all of that works like we expect. The output that I'm looking for is a log in a console saying that we got the reward. So if we collide, we get our ad. If I close it, then I get a message. Here is a reward for you. So we got all of the ad types working from Unity. And the way that I integrate them is pretty fast and they're pretty messy. You probably could go through and clean it up by using some super units that will hide most of this logic so that at any point you can reuse those macros for the other projects that you do. That is it for this video. The next video I'm planning to do on how to publish the game to Play Store and go through that process. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't and I'll see you in the next video.